There is no doubt that learning how to set up and optimize profitable Google Ads campaigns is a highly sought after skill where you can also earn a high income. And despite the fast rise of new AI technologies, Google and Google Ads is not going anywhere soon because last year in 2022, Google had over 224 billion US dollars in ad spend, and that is projected to grow above 350 billion by the year of 2026. Now, from my experience of running Google Ads for my own business, then building my own agency, and also consulting to three large digital agencies as their head of search, I can tell you that out of all of the different digital marketing disciplines, Google Ads is the most lucrative, and that is for two core reasons. Firstly, when you go and have a look at Google Trends data, you can see that of the four core digital marketing skills of Google Ads management, social media management, SEO management, and also web development, in terms of its search history, Google Ads doesn't even rate. So when we look at this data, you can see that Google Ads management is well done on the list compared to those other three disciplines. And where this gets interesting is because this is despite Google having a much larger ad spend, especially when it's compared to social media. So last year, when you look at the comparison of Google Ads management, so the amount of money that was spent on Google Ads versus the amount that was spent on Meta Ads, Google nearly had double the amount of spend as Meta with Google taking 42% of the total digital marketing spend, whereas Meta only had 22%. So you can see that's why I believe that Google Ads is the most profitable skill to master in the range of digital marketing because it's the highest spending, but it's also the one that has the least search traffic for people learning how to become a profitable Google Ads manager. So we need to ask ourselves, why is this the case? And I have a strong theory on this, and this came from my experience when I was the head of digital across some different marketing agencies here in Australia. And when we came to employing new staff, so when I was out on the lookout for, for new staff and going through the interview questions, there was really two main tracks that people wanted to go down. They're wanting to go down the highly creative social media pathway, or they're wanting to go down the really analytic or technical expertise skills of SEO and website development, leaving Google Ads management in the middle as kind of the forgotten discipline in digital marketing. Now, I do understand this because social media ads are much more reliant on the creative, people find that a very attractive option. Plus with the people who are really highly analytical or wanting to get really technical, I can see why SEO and website development is more appealing to them. And Google Ads has always kind of been in the middle where you do need to have an analytical edge. You've got to be able to really dive down and look at the analytic data so that you can then decide the best optimizations to make. And the same is true with Google Ads is that you do also need that little bit of the creative that if you've got some good skills in ad copy and you've also got some good skills in being able to put together briefs on how you want your image or your video ads to be displayed and created, it still gives room for that creative flair. But because it's kind of a hybrid of the two, it's kind of always been a little bit forgotten. And I've discussed this at length with different digital agency owners. And they all say the same thing, that of all the disciplines, Google Ads is the hardest to recruit for because there's just not as many highly skilled professionals who solely focus on Google Ads. And that's why for me, when I saw that opportunity, I have focused my career solely on Google Ads management, and it has been a highly successful and profitable decision. So that's why I'm encouraging you, if you're at the start of your digital marketing journey, I would encourage you to really look at focusing on Google Ads management. So now let's get back to the question at hand of how would I start my Google Ads management career if I was starting today. Now, just in case you don't know who I am, my name is Aaron Young, I'm from Define Digital Academy, and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And I've personally been creating and optimizing profitable Google Ads campaigns since 2010. And when I started way back in 2010, there weren't the same level of resources of what they are now. When you're going about trying to learn Google Ads, the only real options you had was to use Google's own resources 
Back then they called it their Google Ads certifications, which has now been replaced by Google Skillshop. And then the only other option was to go through some different blogs or Reddit forums. Remembering that back in 2010, YouTube had only started in 2005 with the partner program so that monetizing creators only starting in 2007. And in 2010, Google Ads was still very much stuck in mashups of music videos, different comedy sketches, and a very much a new place for people to show their vines. Remember those vines. That was legitness. Yeah. And at that stage, YouTube wasn't the highly engaged learning platform that it is now. Thankfully, as we fast forward now to the year 2023, there is much more tools for people like you if you're wanting to start out your very own Google Ads management career. So I wanna take you through the four steps that I would follow if I was starting in Google Ads management today. And the first one would be is that I would still start with Google's own training. As I mentioned before, this used to be called Google Ads Certifications. It's now called Google Skillshop. Now the training that Google gives you is very good for these core areas. It firstly will teach you the language of Google Ads. So by going through their training, you know the difference between your click-through ratio versus your keyword quality score versus your ad rank versus your bid optimizations and your search impression shares versus your search impression share top. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, that's why you need to go and have a look at Google training. What Google's training will also give you some really good training about is about how Google Ads works, so how the auction works, and also it'll give you some really good guidance on the different types of Google Ads campaigns that are available right now. While there's some great training, and I do recommend it as the first step for anyone wanting to get involved in Google Ads management, I do wanna let you know that that's really where that training stops. It's really good for giving you the basis, it's really good for explaining how Google Ads works and giving you different definitions and meanings of different skill sets and strategies that you'll need to know when you're optimizing Google Ads campaigns. But I've never found it to be a really highly valuable tool when it comes to really showing you how to take that campaign from starting and setting up a campaign to making it an optimized and profitable campaign. So the first place you need to start is that you need to start with Google Ads own training and the Google Skillshop resources. And then that brings us to the next step and that's where you wanna learn how to actually set up a Google Ads campaign in the right way. And the best resource for that is YouTube, where we are right now. And that's because YouTube is a great resource for learning how to set up a Google Ads campaign in the right way. And the reason for why it's such a valuable tool is because many people will give step-by-step -step screen share processes. So it actually walks you through the process of how to set up your Google Ads campaign in the right way. Now, the only thing that I'd say with this is that when you're selecting which YouTube tutorial to watch, I do wanna give you a couple of guidance points. So if you were to search something like how to set up a Google Ads campaign, don't just automatically go for the video with the most views because you want to look at two core criteria. And the first one is, is you want to have a quick look at the channel. When you see the video, then actually go through to the channel. And what you want to have a look at is, is this person teaching a lot on Google Ads? So is the vast majority of their videos on Google Ads or are they teaching on Google Ads one week and then TikTok the next week, then Meta Ads the week after that, then they're taking you through SEO resources or taking you through Canva tutorials. While there's nothing necessarily bad with these types of accounts, what the issue is, is that when it comes to something like Google Ads, you can often be given the wrong advice because you're dealing with someone who is just giving you general knowledge. Now, I'm not gonna go through and name and shame some different channels, but when I go through and watch these tutorials, I see some really big mistakes and fatal flaws that can be really detrimental to your campaigns and accounts. So that's the first thing. You wanna go through and focus on a channel, and there's a lots of channels, not just mine, that do solely focus on Google Ads. The second thing you wanna check is that that tutorial is currently up to date. And what you wanna be looking at is you wanna make sure that that tutorial was only released in the last six months. If you can't find anything in the last six months, you wanna make sure that it's definitely been released in the last 12 months. The reason for that is because especially over the last 12 months, there has been so many changes in Google Ads. And these changes go beyond how the algorithm works, but it also goes to how the dashboard actually looks. And as we speak right now, Google is updating the Google Ads dashboard. So if you're looking at a tutorial from 12 months ago, you're not gonna be able to follow those steps because it will look completely different to what you're seeing 
right now when you're setting up your Google Ads campaign. So now that you've gone through Google's resources and then you've also done some campaign setup tutorials on YouTube, it brings me to step three of where I would be going and the resources I would be using is if I was starting Google Ads right now. And this one is where you really need to make the decision of how serious you are about learning Google Ads. And the reason for that is because this is gonna cost you some money. And the reason for that is because the next step I would recommend is that you go and purchase a course. Now, there's lots of Google Ads courses out there, especially some courses that are released by this guy right here. And when it comes to selecting the right Google Ads course that works for you, there's a couple of core criteria that you need to be looking at. And the first one is, is that do you actually like the instructor? And now the beauty of YouTube is that before you come to actually investing some money in a course, you're generally gonna be able to see the instructor's YouTube videos, and you can look beyond how many subscribers they have or how many views they have, and really look at the information they're providing. Do you like their teaching style? Are you able to learn from them? You know, and even down to, do you find their voice annoying? All of those little things, you can really go through and watch their catalog of YouTube videos to find out whether you feel like you can have a really good instructor-student relationship inside that paid course. And then the second core question you need to ask is, what is the age of that course and how often is it updated? Remember how I said earlier that there has been so many different changes happening in Google Ads lately. If you're dealing with a course that is four or five years old, it's actually not up to date and a lot of things have changed. Now, if that course was initially released four or five years ago, that's not a problem, but you do just wanna make sure and check that the course creator has gone and updated some different modules, especially around things like setting up your campaign, ad copy, keyword selection, because those things have heavily changed over the last couple of years. And then finally, you wanna make sure that that course creator does offer a money back guarantee. And the reason for that is just so that it safeguards your decision. You're gonna invest some money into this course. So you wanna make sure that once you've purchased that course, you can get in, have a bit of a look around, watch a couple of the modules to make sure that it's everything that their website promised. If they give a money back guarantee, you can then go ahead and buy with confidence because you know that if you don't like it, you can get your money back easily. And then I wanna bring you to the final point. I know before I might've said that number three was the final, but there is actually a fourth and final point when it comes to choosing the right Google Ads course. And you wanna really ask how active that course creator is in that course? And can you ask questions? And more importantly, will your questions be answered? Now, because of the size of my personal YouTube channel, there's just so many different questions coming in on my YouTube videos that there is humanly no possible way that I can answer all of those questions. However, inside my paid courses, I can answer those questions every single week. So if you ask a question inside one of my personal courses, you'll get an answer within the next week. And that's what you just wanna make sure with your course creator, that before you purchase that course, just quickly ask, and while you're in that money back guarantee area, so whether that would be 24 hours, one week, two weeks, three weeks, however long the course creator gives you as a money back guarantee, just go through and have a look at the comments section and see how active the course creator is in answering those questions because that is one of the key differences between things like Google Skill Shop, YouTube videos, and a course is that one of the highest value elements of a course is that you have some direct access to the course creator where you can get your questions answered. Now those first three points of learning Google Ads, so firstly through Google's own resources, then secondly through YouTube tutorial videos, and then looking at paid courses, when you get to that point, you would really have a good understanding of how Google Ads works. You know how to set up and optimize a campaign. The next important step is just experience. And for this fourth point, my recommendation would be to go and work in a digital agency for anywhere between two to five years. Now, the reason why I recommend this, rather than just going out and trying to become your own freelancer, which is what I did, I found that my learning in Google Ads didn't really happen until I worked in a Google Ads agency. And the reason for that is because rather than focusing on sales and client follow-up and client care, you know, staffing issues, all of those things that come in with running your own agency or even becoming a large freelancer. You can purely just focus on the skill of learning how to optimize Google Ads campaigns. And the other great thing about being involved in a digital agency 
is that you're gonna get a wide variety of clients from all different areas. So you're not only gonna be dealing with campaigns from service-based industries, you're gonna be dealing with e-commerce-based industries, and if you can get into a larger Google Ads agency, you're gonna be dealing with some really large accounts. The first accounts that I was managing where they were spending over a million dollars a year was inside a digital agency. And there's a big difference between you know, managing Google Ads for a mum and dad business where they might only be spending you know, $1,000 or a couple of thousand dollars a month versus running Google Ads for large international companies that are spending you know, millions of dollars every year on Google Ads. And that's why I recommend that a core step in learning how to master Google Ads, even if you wanna set up your own agency or become a freelancer, I would highly recommend that you do spend a couple of years working inside a successful digital agency. So there you have it. They're the four steps that I would be using to learn Google Ads if I was starting off today. And to help you a little bit further on your journey, I wanna give you access to my Google Ads optimization checklists. And these are checklists which I put together, which I use for myself. And I also set them up inside of other digital agencies so that you know exactly how to optimize your Google Ads campaigns. And it also lets you know when you need to complete all of those actions. Because with Google Ads, there's optimization actions that need to be completed every week. Where there's other ones that don't need to be completed until every 60 or 90 days. And if you wanna get access to my Google Ads optimization checklist, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. Once again, thank you for joining me. It's been a pleasure having you. And if you're interested to learn about the current changes which have been happening in Google Ads over the past 12 months, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thanks for joining me. See you later.